my god what am i doing hello good morning i hope you're doing well today my name is desiree welcome to just thinking out loud it is finally spring i have been waiting for it to arrive and it's really really nice i want to talk about cultural appropriation today i think it's a topic that is slightly nuanced and i know a lot of people talk about it i was you know typing search terms into youtube and that was one that came up from what i understand cultural appropriation is the borrowing of the elements of one culture by someone who is not a member of that culture i just want to say to anybody who think it's really bad for persons from another group to be using or participating in events that are typical to one group that you do not own your culture and you are not the gatekeeper of that culture there are probably members of your culture who don't care so that person can decide to do what they want you're also probably not an artist i guess that's an assumption but i doubt that you are because you draw your inspiration from the world around you and that includes pretty much any and everything i'm jamaican so i'm from a culture that i think a lot of people would say has experienced this negative thing many many times and i've also traveled a bit around the world in europe and south america not that much but just a little bit and i hear jamaican music everywhere and a lot of people know you know they know about jamaica and i think if you want to keep your culture to yourself then you for one you could not export it and not try to make money off of it and not try to live in the world but <laughs> and be a part of the world that other people interact with but i'll try to be a little bit serious about it it seems to me that it's just life persons have been mixing and conquering not necessarily across color lines and um, fighting over resources and integrating and assimilating the people they captured for a very long time no matter who you are you are born of that human forward movement and maybe it's wrong and you want to talk about the things that are wrong such as power structures but i think those are two separate issues because you're trying to put the blame on one specific group in society based on the present today and not necessarily based on the actual thing and the value that you are trying to espouse itself i think you have to draw a distinction there because it's not just one group of people it's just a group that you don't like in today in your society not necessarily globally also if it's a matter of intellectual property again you don't own it so then it doesn't become a matter of theft because how do you define what's owned within a certain group it's probably one person or a bunch of persons that originated that came up with something and if they did this they did not decide to stake a claim on that thing then you can't suddenly decide to stake a claim on it people seem to talk about music and hear the most hearing people hearing black americans talk about something that they they really consider their own that being rap and hip-hop music and that was very strongly influenced by jamaica music if you go to jamaica you hear you know you hear the, the instrumental beat and then there are guys talking over the beat in a boastful way talking about how good they are with the ladies or just boasting how great they are that's something that was distinct to jamaica you can say that it was that was shared through cultural exchange but it's not just black americans that really love the love that kind of music and mixing up the instrumental from records there were also a lot of Ger germans every time i meet germans <laughs> not all of them but a lot of them they really like um like old school reggae music they know it better than me sometimes it's not something that you know Amer only americans liked I also don't hear jamaicans going on about how lots of americans don't know the influence of jamaica music on hip-hop music and it's dancing artists tend to draw from the world around them you're going to come up with similar things because we're all looking at the same thing and also this is very important you are a part of the world that everybody else is interacting with i know i sound kind of preachy but this is just my opinion that i'm giving in terms of hair this one is also sort of interesting because someone i saw an article on um what they call hair bantu knots and some white person taking it and 
calling it something else. Well, in Jamaica, we don't call them bantu nuts. We call them chiny bumps. Don't ask me why we call them that. That's just the term that we use for it. We also call cornrows cane rolls because we had cane and sugar plantations, I suppose. So that's just something that happens. Why would you call it, why would you not call it something else and make it something that sounds more familiar to you? Like it's just something that everybody does. Like these things are things that everybody does. And maybe you can decide to educate someone. You can say, hey, did you know X, Y, Z? But we're all ignorant about many things because you can't know everything. In terms of locks, I think some people know this, but locks weren't really accepted in Jamaica at first and they were mostly worn by Rastafarians. They did popularize it. And I think it's a good sign when society then decides to accept that culture and now it's more the norm. But I also do see lots of Rastafarians complaining about how Jamaican people, other Jamaican people who they don't see themselves as are not wearing the hairstyle but didn't also adopt the religion. And they do write songs about it. I have heard a couple of songs, but it's not a big deal. Also, if you see a person wearing locks and they're not black in Jamaica where locks is associated with presently, people don't really identify themselves by skin color. They, they more identify themselves by class, like if you're uptown or downtown or by if you come from country or if you come from town, if you are urban or if you're rural. So other Jamaicans wouldn't be like, oh, you can't do this because you look this way. So that other people are like, you can't do this because you look this way. It doesn't make any sense. There is a difference between someone who is mocking a culture or a caricature of a culture and someone who is appreciating that culture. I think people's intentions do matter. If somebody wants to, take an element that they think is beautiful, they like it and it's aesthetically pleasing, or they think that other people would like it and it would make their products more appealing, then let them. That's what you would want to do if you were trying to make it in the world. That's exactly what you would do. Because you might take something that you don't realize belongs to someone else or that some people are like, yeah, it's okay. I think it's cool if you do that. And then some rando, <laughs> some random person is like, you're terrible because you did this thing that I think is really bad because X, Y, Z, even though you can't even define the lines of theft and property over this thing that is so terrible. <laughs> I went to a school with a conservatory. I really like to go and listen to the music. They were playing lots of classical music uh, with an orchestra. And I also liked to go swing dancing because I couldn't really find anything else that was close to dancing where I was. So should I just not enjoy those activities anymore? Because I'm not European. If someone came to me and they wanted to learn how to cane row or rope twist or just other things um, or whining or like <laughs> anything really, if I think you're cool and I'm comfortable with you, I will teach you. I will teach you to do those things because I like you as a person. And then now all of a sudden it's bad if they decide to like market this thing that they think is really cool and they think other people would like. No, that's just so stupid. Like if I were trying to promote myself, and be successful in the world, I would want to be able to do that. So why would I not want someone else to do that? So that if I ever want to do it, I can. And about the music thing, <laughs> I don't want to offend anybody, but this is just a possibility. You know, it's just a possibility, but maybe certain persons, but maybe certain persons know how to market themselves better and are better musicians. I know it's a pretty complicated topic, but I think that's a possibility that I don't really hear people ever mention. Honestly, I really feel like it's just a way to hate on one group of people. I won't say which group it is and claim the moral narrative and moral superiority when these are things that many groups do. The trees are outside <laughs> fighting right now over resources and taking things that the other plants need. And I'm not saying we should just be animals and use nature as an excuse to behave badly, but these are things that every group does. All the groups are doing right now in the world that you would be associated with based on how you look. If you want to talk about power structures, then that is a different topic. And it's not just about your society and your worldview. You know, it's, it's, 
you're trying to put all the blame on one group and it's just not true also having wealth does not necessarily mean that you have power a lot of americans in general are better off than a lot of people in the world and a lot of black americans who think that they're poor a lot of people in other parts of the world would think that you're rich because it's very relative people were forced to speak the standard languages in cultures that we think are cohesive today. What about what your government, the American government is doing right now to other countries, just as you don't like how the American government was mistreating one group of people and helping another group. Talk about that stuff, that's fine, but it's not limited to one group in society. You also participated in that by being passive, just as white people who weren't all up in arms about slavery were being passive. It's the same thing that you're doing right now. Part of me just wants to be like, this whole thing is stupid and I don't even know why people are talking about it but I also don't want to dismiss the hurt feelings of people but your argument doesn't make any sense because you can't talk about theft and borrowing if you can't actually demarcate the boundaries of the property the intellectual property because as I said before one person isn't the gatekeeper of a group and then the other person is not in terms of the culture and I also think people need to focus on things that actually take more work like looking at the people who are around you and who you emulate and who maybe make you feel bad about your self-image the people who really affect how you feel about yourself are the people who are close to you and they're probably going to be your parents before anybody else growing up i don't know what i would do to have to straighten my hair because my mother wouldn't let me do it she also didn't she wanted me to wait to get locks she didn't she didn't like me having fake nails she didn't even like nail polish she didn't like bikinis on young girls she just didn't like you focusing on your beauty and your appearance before you were sexually mature and that really influenced me and i think that you are influenced the most by the people who are close to you not other people and it's not up to anybody else to make you feel good about yourself. Other people don't have to tell you they like your culture. That's something that you have to figure out for yourself. For my personal story, I had a friend who is no longer my friend. I won't say which country she was from, but she was Asian, or she is Asian. And uh, she was born and raised in this country and then she came to the United States. And there was a lot more going on in the story. I don't think she's crazy. But I will just talk about what she said. She was upset about, I went to a monastery and I took her there because I thought she might have a connection with the place. And she, was, she really didn't like me going in there and participating with the people. She went and she sat and spoke with them for an hour, but she didn't bring up any of her concerns with them. She brought them up with me. And <laughs> she thought that they were being made a spectacle of. And I said that that's nonsense because they decided, they came straight from that country, they decided to set up this place and share it with the world and share their method or their tradition of coming up with a certain state of mind. She thought it was all like bogus, but that's her opinion. And again, she didn't say this to them. <laughs> she said it to me and I didn't agree with her. I said, there's nothing wrong with someone going there. There's nothing wrong with someone else participating in another person's culture. And I think she was associated with imperialism, but that's not what was going on. It was not as if someone went to a country, took pieces of it, i.e. bastardized it, and then came here and then like mashed it together and then call it something else. That's not what happened. And when we left, she was really mad. She didn't talk to me about it much in depth. Once she realized that I didn't agree, she called me a horrible person. She told me I was acting white. That was sort of my first time sort of encountering that sort of opinion. And she also told me that I was privileged and thinking like a rich person. I guess she would say that's privileged because I was educated and I went to the school. I went to, it was very, it was very expensive, even though I struggled to finish it. <laughs> so she called me all those things and then she exited my life and she actually wrote an article about it but she didn't talk to me about it <laughs> because it's a lot easier to do that and I think a lot of people do this I think that it's so much easier to get upset at things that you can't really change and other people that you know you will have no influence on 
than actually do things that take work and require effort than talking to the people who really cause you the most pain in your life, which tends to be people closer to you. The people who really actually influence you about your self image and how you view yourself, which are the people close to you. You tend to emulate those in your community. And <laughs> Uh, I don't understand why people do this. Like, if you want to talk about values, talk about those values. Talk about power dynamics. Talk about, uh, you know, mocking people. Talk about shaming people for who they are. But you start with the people who are close to you. The actual difficult work. That's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you soon. Bye. different instrumental parts of a song that was distinctly <coughs> that's disgusting